Before we hop into the top five class setups here in MW2, leave a comment and let me know what your top five weapons are right now. There's lots of weapons that are viable in this game because the, the time to kill is very fast. So a lot of weapons could be successful in my opinion. So let me know what your favorites are. You know, if I left any out after you watched the video, let me know and I'm gonna try them out for you guys because I'm very interested to see how many good weapons there are out there. But hope you guys enjoy these, man. I have the best class up for the top five weapons. I have all the tunes for these as well. So if you do try these, make sure to let me know in the comment section and let me know which one your favorite is. Hope you guys enjoy this, man. Smash the like, follow, all, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the class setups. Peace. So we are bringing you the top five weapons here in Modern Warfare 2. And basically, this is my opinion. I know there's a lot of other weapons that are good in this game because the time to kill is very fast. So a lot of weapons are viable to use and, you know, very fun to use. So we're going to hop into my top five that I've used personally that I think are top tier uh, for my play style and, you know, just how the game plays out. So let's hop into the first one, man. So we're going to go over the STB 556 and we're going to show the attachments and the tune for these. So make sure you check it out, man. You don't want to miss these class setups. So STB 556, let's hop into these attachments. So for the muzzle, we're on the FTAC Castle Comp. And then for the tune for this, we want to max out ADS speed and max out gun kick control. And when you go to the optic, we're running the Slimline Pro Optic. If I can get up there, it's not letting me for some odd reason. And then for this, we want for the tune, we want to max out ADS speed and max out far on the bottom right. And then we want to go over to the uh, the comb or part of the stock. And this is the FTAC C11 riser. And then for the tune for that, we want to have max out a aim walking speed and then max out ADS speed. And then we're going to go down to the Bruin Q900 grip. And then for this is the sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. No tune for that. And then the last part for this weapon is the underbow, which is the VX pineapple. And this gives you hip fire accuracy, hip recoil control, recoil steadiness, aim walking steadiness. And for the tune for this, we're going to max out hip walking speed and max out ADS speed. So it kind of plays out as a very, very accurate SMG. You can play kind of all areas with this weapon. It's overall, this might be my uh, favorite weapon here in Modern Warfare 2 uh, to date. So then we're going to hop over to the next one, the Castop 762, basically the AK-47 here in Modern Warfare 2 2022. And let's hop into these attachments. So for the muzzle, we're going with the Boar 490, which gives that horizontal and vertical recoil control. Then we're going to go up to the tune, which is eight, max out ADS speed and max out gun kick control. And you'll see a similarity with all these ARs. Basically, all the tuning is pretty much the same. So max out ADS speed, max out gun kick control. Then we're going to go over to the laser, which is the FSS OLEV laser. And this is ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. No tune for that. You cannot tune the lasers. Then we're going with the cast off Rama or... Uh, cast off Rama stock, which gives you aim walking speed and sprint speed, so better movement. In the two, you want to max out ADS and then max out aim walking speed. Then we go down to the rear grip, which is two tack, a uh, true tack grip, sorry, which is sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. And then for the tune, we actually we have no tune for this. I just it didn't let me cancel the tune, but I have no tune for that. So do not uh, tune anything for the rear grip. And the last part is the, uh, the under barrel, which is the FTAC Ripper uh, 56. And this gives you aim, aiming, idle stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Then for the tune, we want to max out ADS speed. And then we want to uh, max out aim walking speed as well. Pretty much the same for the ARs, like I said. So that is number one and two. I don't really have a preference of which one is the best. Okay, this cast off has been hitting very, very hard. Um, it is pretty fun to use. So make sure you guys try that out. Next, we're gonna hop over to the Mini Bach SMG. I just think this thing, uh, it's just so awesome and fun to use because of the ammo. Uh, it's just like the Bullfrog and the Bison back in the day for um, you know Modern Warfare uh, 2019 and Warzone 1. So let's hop into the detachments for this Mini Bach. We're going with the FTAC cast, uh, Castle Comp, which is horizontal and vertical recoil control. And for the tune, we wanna max out ADS speed and max out gun kick control. Then for the laser, running the FSS OLEV laser. And this gives you aim walking speed, uh, or sprint fire speed, sorry, aiming stability and ADS speed. Then we're gonna go over to the stock. This is the VLK stockless, which is ADS speed, sprint fire speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control, which are all crucial uh, for an SMG here in Modern Warfare 2. And we're running the true tack grip for the rear grip, which is sprint fire speed and ADS speed. No tune for that, just like for the ARs. And then for the last attachment, we're going with the mini bot grip mag. And this basically just you, gives you a little bit of recoil control and uh, aiming idle stability. So make sure you guys try this setup out. Very fun weapon to use. Uh, probably my favorite SMG right now here in Modern Warfare 2. And then we're gonna hop over. We have the TAC 56. Okay, this is a very, very fun gun and it's very accurate. Packs a punch, really reminds me of the Scar uh, back in the day because basically that's what this is. 
and for these attachments we're going with the ftac castle comp which is horizontal and vertical recoil control and we're going to go over to the tune which is max out ads speed and we're going to max out gun kit control on the bottom right then we're going up to the barrel yes we do have a barrel on this we have the tundra pro barrel which is damage range hip fire accuracy and bullet velocity and then for the tune for this we're going to max out aim walking speed and max out damage range so this thing packs a punch at ranges man let me tell you and we're going with the fss olle v laser which is aim, ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. And then we're going with the TV Cardinal stock, which is aim, walking speed, and sprint speed. So we're kind of, you know, countering those long range fights with adding these better movement uh, attachments. Then the tune for this is ADS speed and then aim, walking speed. So we want to make sure we get some good mobility with this weapon as well and make it very well rounded. And then we're going down to the rear grip, the last attachment for this, which is the demo clean shot grip, which is sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. So it packs a punch from distance. Um, up close, you can win some gunfights just because the ADS is actually pretty good. And mobility, it's still not very fast, but it's, it's better with these attachments. So make sure you guys run this. Very fun weapon to use. That is attack 56. And the last one we have here, um, it's pretty questionable. There's a lot of different weapons could fit this spot. Um, so don't hate me for that. But we're going with the M4. Um, it's just very viable. I swear in every Call of Duty, the M4 is just, you know, fun. It's good. It's reliable. You can always go to it and have success with it. So we're going with the M4 here in Modern Warfare 2. Let's hop into these attachments. So we're going with the FTAC Castle Comp, which is horizontal and vertical recoil control. For the tune for this, we're going to max out ADS speed, max out gun kick control like the others. Then we're going with the High Tower 20 Barrel which is bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy. For the tune for this, we're going aim walking speed and damage range, maxing out kind of like the TAC-56 build that we just had. So we have the FSS OLEV laser, which is ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Then we're going to go over to the stock. We're running the demo fade pro stock, which is aim walking speed and sprint speed. The tune for this, we're going max out ADS speed, and we're going to max out aim walking speed to make this more of like an SMG feel. Then we're going to go all the way over to the under barrel, running the FTAC uh, Ripper 56, which is aiming item stability, hit fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. And the tune for this would be maxing out the ADS speed and maxing out aim walking speed to make it more mobile here in Modern Warfare 2. Let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite weapon? Leave a comment down below. Um, did I miss any? Or there's any for sure that should be in that top five? Like I said, there's lots of different weapons that you can use. Just because of how this gameplay, you know, this game is built, it's very high or very fast, TTK, time to kill, and a lot of weapons are very successful. So these are the weapons I, that are probably my go-to right now here in Modern Warfare 2. Let me know what your ears are in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Smash the like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.